Hello everyone, I am your narrator, paranormal poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Warning, the following content you are about to hear may involve certain phrases or words that could be triggering to some who have gone through them. Sound effects used to enhance immersion may also be of discomfort for some. This is your heads up. Viewer discretion is advised. Story 5. Ye Nod Lushiai Hello, paranormal poet. This story I'm about to tell, only four people in my close circle, excluding you, knows of this. The experience further solidified my belief in this Native American legend. My name is Jewel, and this happened back in July of 2022. I was spending time with my cousin at my cabin. The property I live on has many acres of looming tall pine trees encircling my cabin. We rarely go out at night because our land is known to harbor some not-so-friendly spirits, or even worse. That night, my cousin and I decided to unwind in the jacuzzi out front. We spent about five minutes there amiably talking, when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we got on the topic of a uh, he who walks on all fours, or most commonly known as a skinwalker. She wasn't one to believe in that, and knowing how terrified it made me, she decided to pick on me. I told her not to say the name out loud, or it could hear you. And you know what she did? She nearly screams, Skinwalker. And I look at her with eyes as wide as a fox. That's when I heard it. A twig snaps, loud, like it had just been stepped on by something stalking in the woods. Something big. My heart began pounding so hard I could have sworn it almost beat out of my chest. I grab my cousin's forearm and run inside. We open the door, and now I'm panicking. A mix of emotions, really. I felt anger for my cousin for being so loud with that damn name, but also fear from hearing the branch directly after. She goes to lock the door when she hears a footstep. She turns to me and whispers, Did you hear that? I then hear heavy footsteps on our wooden deck. I cover my mouth as she sits with me in the dark, trying to hide from it. I hear a low growl emanating from behind the door. To my utter dismay, I see the doorknob moving. Whatever this was, was now attempting to get in. I'd never been so petrified in my life. We stayed behind the couch long enough to realize whatever was outside had now gone. Though we survived the night and made off with our lives barely in our hands, safe to say, my cousin, a once open-minded skeptic, was now a believer in the skinwalker of the Canadian territory that I live in. To those listening, you don't have to believe me, but when you realize the ground you stand on is built upon the spiritual practices of shamanism, I can offer one bit of advice. Never introduce yourself to the dark, cause one night, it will reply. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.